All right, welcome back to another episode of Tesla 101. I am your host, Dan, from Northern Tesla. So today we are diving into everything about the Tesla touchscreen. We'll cover everything you need to know to get started, as well as to make the most out of your Tesla experience. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. The first thing you notice when you sit in a Tesla is basically there's no buttons. Uh, everything you need to do is on the touchscreen. So it's important to know all its functions. One thing I should note that is because the touchscreen basically does everything, I have covered a lot of stuff on my Tesla 101 series. You can see that I'll have the link up here for the playlist. Uh, but if there's some stuff that I don't kind of glaze over, it's because I covered it already on a Tesla 101. So check it out, check the playlist. So let's start off with the main screen. So this is the central hub of all your controls and settings, basically your main menu. And the main highlight is obviously this beautiful 3D rendered car. Now you can move it around, all over. It's a true representation of your car and its current status down to even opening the windows. It also serves some function as you can open your front, trunk, lock your car, as well as a charge port. So at the top, you have your status bar. So what this is, basically your gear, and there are any sort of uh, driving icons you have here. While you're driving, your speedometer will also show up here. Uh, over here is your battery percentage. If you click on the percentage, it'll change to uh, actual mileage. Uh, up top here, you can lock the car and you have your driver profiles up here. Uh, you can change that as well as change your driver profile settings. Uh, to the right, this little icon here is your sentry. You can turn that either on or off. And over here, you have date and time as well as temperature. Uh, one thing here with the date, or it's not sorry, the date, but the time is you have access to your calendar if you click on that. So from then on, we have uh, your cards, which will display either your media. If you swipe right, you'll have your trip, and swipe again, you have your tire pressure. Uh, more on media later. Uh, from there, you also have your navigation options and a bit of a little bit mini map up here, which is new. Uh, and then below here, you have some information. This is your settings, uh, your climate control, your quick access menu, and your uh, audio. So we're now going to cover basic controls and settings. Uh, to adjust the volume, you go up and down. You can either do it like that, or you can also slide this down. Uh, you can also access climate by either hitting this, uh, as well as you can just swipe up here, even anywhere you can swipe up and it'll bring climate. Uh, from there, you can have the options here for that. I've done a Tesla 101 on uh, all those climate settings here. You can learn more on that and just uh, basically navigate the climate menu. So you have your seat heaters, steering wheel heaters, as well as uh, heated windshield and the passenger seat here. And then you can navigate this turn out the fan, whatever you want. And then obviously the regular controls that you see in most cars. One of the biggest functions of the touchscreen is of course navigation since you're in a car. Uh, so let me show you some tricks on how to use that. Most of the time you're either going home or to work. So tap these icons and it'll navigate automatically. Alternatively, you can go up here and swipe and it'll do it as well. If you're going anywhere else, tap the navigate search icon and you can enter an address this way. You also have, you have recents, uh, you have favorites, uh, charging options will so bring up a uh, map of charging options in the area. Uh, and these are organized by speed of charger. So you hear, if you only want fast charging, these will navigate to only superchargers, while this little one lightning bolt will also include level uh, two destination charges as well. So moving back to the navigation. Um, so yeah, charging as well as hungry, We'll show up all kinds of dining options in the area. Pick one you choose, and you can also navigate on one and give you some uh, reviews, Google reviews, uh, how to get there, you can call, website, all kinds of information like that. So we'll be back. You also have Lucky, which is uh, kind of like some uh, some landmarks in the area, things to visit, stuff like that. That's where Lucky is. So going back to the map, uh, so going here, you can either throw on the satellite view, uh, this will turn on and off uh, the traffic. So turning on and off traffic, as well as these will turn off the icons and this lightning bolt area, again, more uh, another way to get to your supercharger. So that's how you navigate. And obviously you can use voice controls for all this stuff. Now there's also ways to customize the display to what you want. Uh, like I said before earlier, these are your quick icons. So these are all customizable. Uh, so if you hit on the three dots, you have all the quick icons that you have available in your car. So on the top, you have basically kind of car functions like uh, rear defrost, uh, your heated steering wheel, and so forth, and climate. You can bring that down here. Uh, then you have some other options like your camera, your zoom uh, option, Tesla theater, the arcade toy box, all kinds of stuff like that. And the way to customize it, all you have to do is long press, 
So long press on one, and then you can just drag it and set it on here. Now you can see here now it's my apps and there's recent apps. So you have an option of one, two, three, four, five, six options. So you can either have five in the my apps and one in the recent app or four here and two in the recent app. So it's up to you, whatever you want. So I'm gonna throw arcade back down here and close that. And that's how you customize that mini area here. So after navigation, the biggest use of the touchscreen is of course, entertainment. And let me tell you, the Tesla is loaded with entertainment options. So in terms of music and audio, so basically you have all your entertainment options here. I have Apple Music and Apple Podcasts. This is what I have. Uh, basically you can navigate all, like if you have Spotify, it might look a little different. Basically uh, you have all those options here. Uh, you can search for music. Like let's say if you search for Snoop Dogg, It'll bring you all the options of all of the available uh, options in your car, such as podcasts, you have songs, albums, um, episodes that involve Snoop Dogg, uh, karaoke, and if I had other, like if I had Spotify, this would show up as well here. Uh, now, speaking of Spotify, I don't have it. Uh, so the way to change that, if you have other things, is uh, you want to bring up your music icon. So there's two ways of doing this. Uh, you see this little thing here, the little gear or levers here. You can use access to that there or as well as you, when you bring up the music, it's there as well. Uh, so you have your audio settings. Uh, you can change the tone, the balance, the options. The more important one I'll show you is the sources. So a lot of people, there's tons of options for Tesla uh, music sources. So you have Tidal, Apple Music, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I believe YouTube Music and Amazon Music is coming as well shortly. But if you don't have those options, you don't need to have them in the car. Uh, so like I said, I don't have Tidal, I don't have Spotify, so they're not there. All right, moving on. So Teslas are great for all kinds of entertainment. Now, if you go back to your menu, you can hit Tesla Theater. And from here, you'll have access to Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, Twitch, tutorials. I think TikTok's on the American ones. Uh, if you don't have Disney+, Plus, uh, watch my earlier video to see how you can add it to your Tesla Theater. And going back to the menu, uh, next to that, we have Arcade, which is tons of awesome games. We have Castle Boombad, Beach Buggy, uh, Mahong, Sudoku, Skyforce, one of my favorites, uh, Solitaire, Cat Quest, Fallout Shelter, Stardew Valley, and Cuphead. Uh, tons of awesome games to keep you entertained while you wait in your car. Next to that is your toy box. There's tons of cool features here uh, you can explore. My kids love Santa Mode and Rainbow Road. Beside that is your browser. Basically a full-scale browser. It can browse the internet, whatever you like. So next to the browser is the manual. Now you'll see when it loads, there's first off is get to know your Tesla. Now here you're gonna see some videos, they're kind of interactive, but you know, you're watching all the Tesla videos, so you don't really need those. But if you wanna watch them, tons of cool little videos to, not videos, but like kind of guides to how to set up your Tesla. Beside that is the actual owner's manual. So you don't need a book anymore. It's all over here. You know, you can browse, you can search. All the stuff you need is in this area here. And beside that is release notes. So any sort of updates that come through with software updates, you'll get basically get the new features that are available in that update. Another thing I want to show you in the app section is Dashcam. Now this is going to load up all your Sage Sentry and Dashcam footage. Once the video is here, you can scrub it, uh, go back and forth. Uh, then this little red dot here is actually what's going to be triggered the event. Uh, so you can see here this guy walking by my car, no big deal. You can go to the menu and see other footage. Uh, you can sort it by either all, uh, Sentry over here, just all Sentry videos, as well as dash cam over here. Vehicle controls are just a tap away. Now, some controls are on the steering wheel, but most everything can be controlled also from the touch screen. We are gonna go into this little car icon, which is the settings. Uh, so first thing is your quick controls. You can have all kinds of controls in terms of basic car functions, like folding your mirrors, uh, your wipers are over here. Uh, moving your mirrors, your steering wheel here, uh, Sentry and uh, Tesla cam is over here, car wash mode and opening your glove box. Uh, you can also change your display brightness over here or turning it on auto. Um, so moving down the menu, I'm not going to get too much into it, but these are basically the controls. Uh, so dynamics is basically for the type of, used to be called steering, uh, so this is kind of like it'll change your, kind of like your explanation of your driving style. If you want a little more sporty or a little more chill and soft, this is how you change that. Uh, charging options will change your uh, charging limit. So if you want to set it to 100 or 80, this is how you do it. You can also do scheduled departure, which is over here. Another big part of driving a Tesla is the autopilot and full self-driving features. You can find these here. 
There are tons of settings in this autopilot guide, and I have covered them in a previous Tesla 101, so check that out for a more detailed guide. Now, moving on to locks. Here you have your locks, uh, either phone or uh, key cards, as well as other accessories. One nice feature here is walkway door locks. So basically, every time you exit your car, the car is going to lock on its own. But you can exclude that at home. It makes it more a little convenient. Uh, from there, we have lights, headlights, uh, ambient lights, if you have them, dome lights. Uh, those are your lighting functions. On display here is how you uh, change the appearance. You can either have it in light mode, uh, dark mode, or leave it in auto, as well as the brightness, either have it on auto. Your automatic blind spot cameras is going to be the little camera that shows up when you either have your turn signal on to show you if there's something in your blind spot. Uh, screen clean mode will definitely turn the screen black so you can clean up all the fingerprints. And moving on, nothing much here, just more uh, more customization in terms of like what you prefer in terms of like you want tripod hour clock, you want distance percentage for your energy, uh, mileage, and all you know, so forth. That here's another access to your trips. Uh, navigation is what you prefer for your navigation. Uh, safety. Uh, this is where you're going to see your sentry mode as well as uh, pin to drive, which is just over here. If you want to have a pin in terms of any times you want to have a you want to drive driving your car, you need a pin, which is obviously going to prevent any sort of car theft. You can also put a pin on your glove box. If you have teenagers, you want them to drive. Here's where you do that and set a speed limit. A cabin overheat protection is basically uh, if your car is going to overheat in the summer, in terms, in terms of summer, if it's really hot out, uh, either a fan or the AC will kick in just to cool down the cabin so uh, nothing it doesn't get too crazy hot in here. Uh, Joe mode is one of the things where all the different chimes you're going to have throughout the car, if you have Joe mode on, they're just going to be a little quieter so they don't bother people in the back. You know, kids sleeping. And to essentially power off your car, if you're going to do any sort of changes or you need to power off your car for any reason, this is where you do it here in the safety menu. Uh, service, same thing. Uh, kind of self-explanatory in terms of what you can do here. One cool thing is you have camera previews, which I did not know. So you can test out your cameras, which is pretty look like there I am. Anyhow, so you can change the main, uh, you know, wide left door pillar. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that you could do that. Uh, and in your, while we're here, okay, so then you have notifications, uh, calibrate a few different things, uh, clear your browser data, some people might need that. Uh, wheels and tires also thing. If you change your wheels or you change the, um, your, like your uh, arrow cap or your different wheels, uh, you change it here so that you know, the range estimator takes into account the wheel size so that uh, it can properly account for your range. And of course, one of the best things of owning a Tesla is the over-the-air software updates. You can find that in the software tab. Uh, software updates is going to tell you everything you have in your car right here. Uh, and it'll tell you if you're, it's going to check for updates. It's not going to say it's, it's going to say it's up to date, which it always does unless you have a software update. So even if there's a software update out there, a car will still be up to date until you get a software update. So this standard advance, sometimes, I don't know if it makes a difference. And then uh, the privacy notices and there's just, uh, you know, uh, some legally stuff for enable to uh, privacy for the cameras and all the stuff in the car. Uh, one cool thing is release notes up here is that it'll just tell you, like every time an update comes in, it'll tell you the different changes that uh, occurred in that update. So moving on, you have Wi-Fi settings, self-explanatory, connect to the Wi-Fi, uh, same with Bluetooth, all your Bluetooth devices will be here, and be able to connect, and then we have upgrades. Basically any upgrades available in your car, you can uh, add them right in here, so you swipe off and you can add whatever upgrades are available in your car. All right, so that is a wrap on the Tesla touchscreen. I hope you learned a lot from it. Now, like I said before, I do have other episodes in the Tesla 101 series that covered a little bit more intense on some of the features of the touchscreen. And if there's some stuff that I kind of glazed over and you want more of it, definitely leave me a comment below and I'll see if I can get to it. So as you can see, the touchscreen does so much, but a lot of these functions you can use voice controls for, which I find in my opinion is barely an unused feature. Uh, I might have a video for that later on, so stay tuned. All right, if you like this video and found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. There's tons more Tesla 101 content coming up, so you don't want to miss that. And if you want to check out previous Tesla 101 videos, check out the playlist up here. Definitely, you're going to learn so much about your Tesla. All right, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric.
So as you can so as you can see a lot so as you can see the touchscreen is so and before, so, so if you're new to it so next up is vehicle controls now you have vehicle controls on your every week or so there's also tons of other uh all right thanks for watching and in the meantime all right thanks for watching